it's me again. I'm going to make uh, the third salad in my summer salad series. And it's called a sweet potato buckwheat noodle salad. And by request of my daughter-in-law, who can't, I, when I was recipe testing, she was one of my um, taste testers. <laughs> And she got a hold of me the other day and said, okay, what are the ingredients in that? Because it was delish. So I said I will put it in the shoot or in queue to be one of the next things that I do on the channel. So here we go. And this one is for you, Alex. So I was able to find a, a sweet potato buckwheat noodle. If you can, that's great, use it. Um, I have, I'm not, like this isn't advertising. This is the brand I used. And it's called a King, King Soba, because of course buckwheat noodles are also called a soba noodle. Just throw that over there. <laughs> and they come like this, like little presents. I mean, it's so cute. <laughs> it's like getting a nicely packaged soap, you know? So you just, you know, you want to do it. Ah, oh, so romantic. Just me on my own, making a romantic dinner on a Sunday. All right, don't feel sorry for me, it's okay. I'm, I'm with you. So I've already prepared these, so I'm gonna put these over here. Oh dear, they just went all over the floor. Okay, anyway. Uh, Now we have a lot of produce that's just abundant right now and in season. So I am hustling to make as many recipes as I can using as much local uh, produce as I can, of course. Our peaches are in season, and, but this is what I've chosen to be the star of this dish. So I'm going to go ahead and start making it. So let's, uh, let's get at it, shall we? While those ingredients are finishing up in the toaster oven, I'm going to get the herbs ready. I've taken a whole, um, well, probably two, it would, it would come to two really tightly packed cups of cilantro, but, or, you know, it's easier to say one big bunch that you would buy. They usually come in big bunches. Uh, I've taken that whole bunch and taken half of it, washed it, and then while it's still damp, you just sort of shake it off a bit and then roll it up in a paper towel. And then I'll put this in a, you could put it in a Ziploc bag and tighten it up and put it in the fridge and that's going to keep for a lot longer than you think. The other half is going to go in this salad. I use with the stalks and all. If you don't like that, because it does make it the cilantro a lot stronger. If you don't like that, uh, just pick off the leaves. I don't, I'm too lazy to bother, so I'm just not going to do that. And I'm just going to chop this up. Okay, nothing serious. I like it still a bit leafy, like a salad. And then the mint, I guess you would buy like this amount. So I'm going to call that, if you bought it in the store, I just pick this from my garden. But if you bought it in the store, like, just take three of the sprigs they give you. Now this, I will take all the leaves off. And then I will chop that up and get that ready as well. The one tip I'll give you about onions and salads is you want to 
make the onion as thin as possible. Nobody really likes a big chunk of onion. You're just going to get it as tiny as you can. So you may want to just break up your soba noodles a little bit. That's okay, just so they'll be a little bit easier to, to eat. The zucchini. Hola, no bark. Didn't you know what? I'm going to need a bigger bowl. Just a second. See, it's, <laughs> and it's just me eating. <laughs> Hang on. I'll get my trusty big red bowl. There we go. Adding the, of course, the herbs and the red pepper. And I'm going to add, I like heat in my, in my salads. Uh, I, I get uh, red chilies or Thai chilies or um, habaneros or uh, uh, what's the other one called? Like jalapenos. And I put them in the freezer. They last a lot longer. I get them when they're on sale and they're so easy. Just pull them out and like this was in the freezer and it's already gone soft. It just sat out for 20 minutes. I'm adding mine with, with some of the seeds because I'm not too bothered. If you're bothered with heat, don't add the seeds. And it's also the heat, a lot of the heat is in the membrane. So I'm gonna get it all here, even at the end there, and it goes. Now what I will do too, is I'll make sure I've really washed my hands with some soap and water before I touch my mouth or my eyes. Now I'm just gonna cut up the peaches for the salad. Make sure that they are really ripe. Like this. Really nice and ripe and sweet. That's what you want. If they aren't ripe, it'll defeat the purpose of the whole salad. So, keep that in mind. What do you think? Yeah, I know it's going to be really good. Do you want to come over and have some? <laughs> um, I'm going to um, put together the uh, dressing. So, of course, because every salad needs a dressing. <laughs> so, this is the, the garlic in the sesame oil. And to that I'm adding uh, coconut vinegar, uh, coconut palm sugar. And the final ingredient in the dressing is extra virgin olive oil, or you could use coconut oil. Most of the time I use extra virgin olive oil. It's a quarter cup. Don't worry, because you don't have to use the whole dressing if you're watching calories or your fat intake. All right, and in that's gonna go, I know it looks wet to you, okay? It's not a creamy dressing, it's not a thick dressing. It's supposed to be light and refreshing and just coat, it's about coating all the ingredients and making uh, some flavor for all of the different textures in here. So let me dish it up, okay? And just a quick note about this recipe, I never serve it without avocado and tomatoes. Thank you for joining me again. Um, subscribe if you wish. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that they let you know when a new video comes or hits your inbox or whatever. I really look forward to spending some more time with you and having you just learn and, and um, hang out with me. Um, go out and bring some joy to the world. Take care and I'll see you again next time. All the best. So I'm really hustling and trying to make a lot of a lot of stuff. Just a sec, my my skirt is caught. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> hey, there, <laughs> I'm free. <laughs>